What is common between turning on a light bulb, speaking on your mobile phone and driving a car? Well, you are consuming energy in each case. We are surrounded by such gadgets, equipment and machinery and they all consume energy in some shape or form. Now every time you consume energy, there is energy that needs to be produced that leads to carbon dioxide emission and that in turn leads to global warming. What is the solution? It's simple. Save energy. Now let's say you want to buy a car. There are a few best practices to follow if you want to be energy efficient. You could go buy yourself an energy efficient car. You can maintain the car well. You could drive smoothly on the most economical speed as per the manufacturer's guidelines. You could take the most economical route to work. You could keep working on improving the energy efficiency of the car and you could carry out servicing and maintenance regularly. This would help you spend less fuel, cost you less money and also reduce your carbon dioxide emissions. Ships are really notorious in energy consumptions. Every day vessels around the world are spending millions of tons of fuel which leads to emission of CO2. Now, Carbon dioxide being a greenhouse gas has a direct effect on global warming. For a long time, ship owners were expected to realize this and save energy on their own, which would also in turn reduce their operating costs. But this is not voluntary anymore. IMO in 2013 brought about a change in Chapter 4 of the Marpol Annex 6 Convention, what that essentially said was any ships of 400 gross tons or more would have to be energy efficient. There was a three-pronged strategy to this, that is to provide the ships with energy efficient engines, which are efficiently operated by the ship and shore staff and strive for continuous improvement of this process. Now let's understand a few terms if we want to go a little deeper. The EEDI or Energy Efficiency Design Index is a measure of how efficiently a certain engine was designed. You have the EEDI technical file for each of your engines on board and the file essentially gives you how to calculate the EEDI of your engines and remember this applies to both main and auxiliary engines on board. Now SEEMP, the Shipboard Energy Efficiency Management Plan is a plan which describes how the vessel must be operated and maintained energy efficiently. When a vessel complies with all the requirements of the IMO as per MAPOL Annex 6, she is awarded with the International Energy Efficiency Certificate. The certificate basically means that you are operating energy efficiently and this is mandatory for all vessels of over 400 GRT. Is this all getting too technical for you? Stay with me. I'm going to try and make it a little simpler than that. This is all that you need to know in a nutshell. Do you have an efficient engine that is measured by the EEDI of the engines? Have you planned for efficient operations? Yes, that is what the Shipboard Energy Efficiency Management Plan does. It plans your operations. Whether the ship is actually running efficiently as per the plan or not is measured by factors like EEOI and MRV which we will discuss later and once you are compliant of all this, you get the International Energy Efficiency Certificate. That's all for now.